All right, guys, how are you doing? So we are here at Jeff, and of course I forgot my memory card, so I'm trying the iPad for the first time for the video. So hopefully it's good. I mean, it should be as should be same quality as my iPhone, but it looks different <laughs> on this big screen. It actually looks grainy. I don't know. I want to show you a couple things. First thing, I gotta give a big shout out to my brother Marshall. You see in the, his blade on my channel, the one I have, but. The dude come a long freaking way, man, in in few blades. I mean, my knife was nice. It's it was spotless and awesome. But if you look at this design and the the detail in it and everything, it's just incredible. El Marshal Persian. Is that that's what you call it, Persian? Yeah. Just amazing. Look at the number, twenty seven. You make twenty seven knives and you have this. I wish I was that quick. Oh man, beautiful blade, just incredible fi uh, fit for my hand. Just nice hourglass shape. Even the, this like a gear pattern jimping on it, just for your palm. You know, here on the bottom and top. No jimping here. I like that. Some of you guys know that I'm not big on jimping. If the knife is designed well, you do not need the jimping. Look at that vicious. This thing. It's kind of his signature thing. What would you call it? Like a finger choil over guard or something? Insane. Very cool finish on it. It's it's just very nice and fine, very uniform satin finish. Very shiny, you see the light bounces off, bouncing off. And this one is this is a is this guy Carta or this is a G10 handle? Is this the G10? It's supposed to be G10. Actually, very yeah, cool looking. It's this isn't one of those cast, not the one of those custom. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be G10. Guy Carta. Uh, it looks cool. The chamfering of the pins, tubes, very cool. Just oh, what a lovely knife. It really is funny to look at this viewfinder on the big screen to see it that big. I'm used to the either small viewfinder on the camera or iPhone. Very 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 nice knife. You guys gotta check Marshall out. He's he's a great knife maker. He's he's learning really fast. He's doing the knives the right way, <laughs> what I like. He's doing nice thin grinds, very good performers, very good blades. Oh, beautiful work. What else we have here? Oh, <laughs> we stopped by a Jack's, Jack's shop. You could have seen this tour, little tour about it a while back at Jeff's place. And we picked up your Jimbo's. And my Yojimbo <laughs> went straight from the box into the grinder. Oh, that's a beautiful one. I think we showed it last time. That's the pimp one with Pimped tough times. But I put, like I said, <laughs> when we had the, our, what was it, like, weekend sit down with the Sebastian, and I said that I want to get your Jimbo, but I want to regrind it. I did exactly that. Full Look flat, full flat grind. I'm trying to point. Oh, man. Leave the blood groove on there. You know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there is a little residue from the hollow grind. It is really extreme hollow grind. It was just... It, just by look at the micro bevel on it. This thing... I don't have a... <laughs> look, Tough Thumbs hit himself came in. Did you wake up, baby? Or what? Yeah, I was, what, what are you doing? Making, a, Making video. a video. Oh, I just got done watching Chick look at the uh, Look at the micro bevel on it. That's still the original <laughs> bevel on it. Super thin. This is gonna be insane performer. I'll probably stone, uh, acid wash it and throw it into a stone wash to hide that little yeah, leftover from the here. from the hollow grind. <laughs> I think it will be just fine. That looks good. It is a cool cool knife. That's good. Yeah, this is the not another thing what we did. This is for Nate. Jeff did the rock pattern again. I have to ask Nate if he wants me to stone wash the blade. Really cool rock pattern, and I did the kind of like a greenish greenish uh, undizing then with a little bit of blue peaks and I don't know about you guys but I do like that contrast with the gold hardware kinda like a goldish hardware I think it I think it fits the knife well uh, focus and the, I just fixed up mine a little bit I re-blasted it and uh, just did a little bit just the new anodizing on it what else we did? oh Sebastian show me your oh oh man <laughs> Very jealous of this blade. Why? Custom, custom Halo 5. Yeah. Just insane. It's tritium insert in the in the button. Oh, beautiful blade. Just like the watch. <laughs> I have one of those. 
Not too crazy about them. That halo is just insane. Beautiful, beautiful. Knife, man. Check this out. We have a new knife maker in making. <laughs> Sebastian reground his... Uh, what is it? Old Benchway? Is it Benchway or what is it? Oh, Kershaw. Storm. This was a serrated blade. Partially serrated blade. And he just, you know what? I want to try... Uh, I want to try grinding. Sebastian. So he, <laughs> he steps behind the grinder. Horrible, Sebastian. Oh, I, <laughs> I do horrible. <laughs> Can't even. It's horrible. <laughs> he did actually a really good job on this. This thing is nice and thin. Great Sebastian slicer. It's actually. It's very clean for a first time like grinding like this. It actually is very clean job. <laughs> I mean, heads off. Really heads off. Uh, I blasted this and I hate it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to redo the scars on this, so it was a big fail. When I was blasting it, I got dirt. I, I don't know how it happened, but the dirt got in between the layers. I don't know if there wasn't enough epoxy or something got underneath it. The, the feel of it is amazing, it's really good. The combination of the peel ply on the top, I don't know if you can pick it up on the video. The combination of peel ply on the top and blast all around is nice, but it just, it's horrible looking. It's gotta get scrapped. What else we did? Oh, got my new toy! So we went to the Walmart and they didn't have the silent cut. So what they had and what got my attention was a Benjamin uh, Trail... What is it? Benjamin, what's the Trail something. Nitro? The Nitro Piston, it's the Nitro Piston, it's not the uh, spring. This thing is 22 caliber air pellet gun. It's really freaking strong. It's not... Uh, man, pellet guns come a long way since I was a little kid and played with them. Long way. I mean, right out of the box, just a little bit playing with the setting of the scope. The scope is actually pretty decent. It's, I think, 3 to 9 magnification. Right out of the box with just a little bit of scoping. We were shooting right there, like 40, 50 yards into, like, small little, like, a 8 inch bucket like no matter how you, you hit you're gonna hit it unless you really screw up it is very very powerful it goes through like half inch plywood like nothing and it has that cool look and it's actually super quiet right it's really is quiet yeah cops can but yeah <laughs> no. it's a good looking gun it's very powerful it's a lot of fun to shoot and it's very accurate it has a yeah, you see, Taftams is so, so sore and so tired that he cannot even load it. <laughs> and uh, what else we did? Oh, Jeff did this for our friend Bob. This is really cool work. It's incredible. Like, this is the piece of carbon fiber, and then it has a titanium inlay. Look how thin the titanium is on the bottom. I don't know. Even, I don't know how the hell will I go around to do this. I know I could. Don't matter, Bob doesn't like it, so don't worry about it. <laughs> he's I think he's right gonna. Now. Man, what else we have here? We have some really cool coroners from Jason, Jason Browse. Yeah, the one's done there. You can show the one on the end that's done. The oh. ones are still kind of being made. Two tone finish on the blade. That one. We're ground that, that blade there. Two tone to finish on the blade. What is this? Black and green. Oh, the green and black. Yeah, very nice pattern. It looks very cool. I like this, the, this acid edge is amazing, it's just really nice, clean, very good look to it. Ropes. Ropes. Man's Shooting ropes. ropes. Yeah, he was holding back with that a while, just all over. What else we have here, some <laughs> karambits. I saved it up for This one days. is very clean, this carbon fiber karambit is very clean looking. I don't like karambits. <laughs> those are from it's one of those things, yeah, I remember. UltimateKnife.com. I, I'm, I never was into the karambits, never will. <laughs> What else is here? Vance, what else do you have? Never Show that never. big big ugly knife you have. Wait, Your favorite. Oh, it's away. <laughs> it's away. Yeah. He has that big, what was it? The, uh, Crusader Forge. Crusader Forge, Forge for a huge price. one. Heavy uh, tilt. Oh, yeah. Just That's not. a cheap one, right? That's a $20 care shop? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> this is a big knife. I remember playing with this at the Blade Show. I like it a People lot. People complaining that nobody has them on stock, that they're hard to get. Yeah, you can't find them anywhere. Yeah, it's very much. smooth. Yeah, hand This is a cool one, one, yeah. Get that camera. It's weird to do videos with the iPad. It's so big and it's everything. It's a product. They're all garbage. 
Apple is the best. Oh, that's yeah. a mini yeah, iPad, though. Yeah. I'm very happy with it. I have a lot of fun with it. It does a lot of things. Yeah, yeah. I can fit it in my big pa cargo, pa cargo pockets. <laughs> here you go. Oh, here it is. This big thing. Yeah, this is better. I have a lot better. I, I show that. It's yeah. beautiful. I mean, I have a big pockets, but this wouldn't even fit to my pocket. <laughs> this is humongous. It's really nicely done. It's a four and a quarter inch blade. Yeah, but it's like 12 inch overall. <laughs> no. Close to 10, I think. I put this in my pocket. People think I'm very, very gifted. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Vance oh, I wanted to show no, one more thing. I wanted to show one more thing. There's a giant knives over here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> see, see a giant knives. Look at how big they are. Does it show? <laughs> yeah. Doesn't really show that. Well. That's weird. We're gonna make a huge, huge sun ray in the summer. Cannot wait for that. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Big thumbs. <laughs> gonna sign off. My signature thing now. Oh shit! <laughs> Watch out! Hold the camera. No, don't do that, man. Oh, just go ahead you see? Hey, it went right in the trash can. No, camp. that's right in the crap. Yeah, it trash right in the box. That's how we do it. Here. <laughs> no. Yeah, Alright, guys, we're just having fun here. Actually, most of the night we, we spent shooting outside with the, with the, with the new gun. Yeah, it is a lot of fun. Did we do anything else? Not really, no. Played Oops. a little bit with analyzing. Jeff, Jeff spent most of the time sleeping. Because he's a little crybaby. Can we move that? <laughs> Oh yeah, Vance is finally moved, so you're gonna probably see a lot more work getting done here at this shop. Vance hopefully. Alright <laughs> guys, thanks for watching. Take care, stay safe and remember, don't, don't cut, cut yourself. yourself.